end of the line for the empty crown. It's over. Oh, no. It's just beginning. This is a fight you cannot hope to win. Your luck has abandoned you! Saldok. The master control facility is stuck in first gear. You need thousands of exomorphs, and you only have a handful. You can't win.
of competence, but not perfection. You will fail. You're just a toy of the intro. Tolichon 2 is peaceful again. At great cost. Yes, we both suffered losses. You suffered casualties to help Romulans. I will tell the Senate. You can also tell them they didn't die in vain. The Idril ruins are gone. Good. But are you sure the ruins were the work of the Idril? The archaeological record is quite clear. The Idril had a star-faring civilization long before the Romulan Empire or the Federation. And the Atrexians knew it. They covered up evidence of an ancient Idril culture. Yes, a culture that decimated itself with reckless bioengineering. That monstrous creature destroyed all the Idril colony worlds. In their short-sighted quest for power, they unleashed a bioengineered monster they could not control. Other star-faring races ultimately destroyed the creature. But not all the facilities. Correct. How is it any Idril survived? It appears that a few Idril survived on a devastated colony planet. They lost their technology, but held on to legends of their ancient glory. They're lucky not to be extinct. Our people might have met the same fate if the Empty Crown had succeeded. Fortunately, you chose loyalty to the Romulan people over loyalty to the Romulan war machine. Yes, you are a man of honor, Captain Picard. And now we must both exit the neutral zone. Set a course for the nearest starbase. Course laid in, sir. Ready to return to Federation space. Make it so. Lieutenant Monroe, your performance was exemplary. The Exomorphs posed a grave threat to the Federation. The Romulan government is also grateful that you stopped the Empty Crown from taking over and dragging them down in a pointless war. Your actions have not only saved lives, they have given the Federation a new opportunity to pursue peaceful relations with the Romulans. The Hazard Team's performance has surpassed my expectations. You have established yourself as a leader, Lieutenant. You have every reason to be proud. Indeed. 
I will recommend that Starfleet establish hazard teams throughout the Federation. We could use them on our exploratory vessels. Excellent work, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. It's an honor to serve on board the Enterprise. You are a valuable addition to the crew. Enjoy your shore leave. You and your team have more than earned it. Dismissed. Hi, Monroe. Come in. Great to see you, Telsia. Thanks for asking me to dinner. Thanks for accepting. You were afraid I wouldn't? I guess so. Since when are you afraid of getting shot down? I was afraid of being with a woman who risks her life. But I realized that's cowardly. Cowardly? My girlfriend would have to face the fear that I might die too. I can't expect less from myself than I'd expect from her. Oh, Alex. So, ready for dinner? I'm ready to hear you talk more about you and me. Ah, well... You look ravishing in that hazard suit. Why, thank you, kind sir. But I'm looking for a chance to power it down and slip out of it. Oh? We've been wearing it so long, I thought it was a part of you. Oh, it comes off. Really? It takes courage to find out. A relationship's not an easy thing. The most hazardous mission yet. <laughs>